Okay, in this session I wanted to cover some of the ways that you can actually find help for commands you use from the command line. Um, there are four different ways that you can typically find help. And since we just covered less, I'm going to show you the first way by just typing in less. Uh, if you don't know um, the, the full command you want to use, sometimes you can just type in the command as I did there with less. And it actually gives me a little bit of help and says I'm missing a file name and that I can type in less and dash dash help for more op options. So I'm going to actually sh do that and show you that now I've got a summary of the less commands. Um, you can scroll up and down in here. Uh, you can, as you can see at the bottom, it says pre press return for more or Q when done. Um, Basically, uh, it just lets you know what other options are available when you run the less command. I'm going to actually hit Q to get out of this because we're not really interested in what less does. I just wanted you to see that you can find help for less that way. Uh, another useful way to find help for a command is what's called man, or which is short for manual. And I'm going to just type in man and less, which is going to open up the manual pages for less. And you see now that there's actually more details here. It's more descriptive. Um, again, I'm using the cursor keys to scroll down. I can use page up, page down, whatever. But uh, basically, more, more uh, descriptive uh, help here. Um, a lot more you can see uh, as far as the descriptions and, and the switches you can use. So uh, again, I'm going to hit Q to quit here. Uh, another option that you have <coughs> to find out uh, get or I should say get help for some of the commands out there is called info now sometimes info won't give you any more info than the manual in fact sometimes info just opens up the manual pages so let's try info and less and see what happens and now in fact actually you see at the top there it did actually open the man pages for the less command so this is the same um, output we just got using manual or man but um, some commands and I'll, I'll show you one of them here uh, if I type in man and the disk usage command which is du uh, you can see that it actually gives me the uh, the name du which is uh, estimate file space usage and a description the synopsis and so on and so forth I'm just gonna get out of here because we're not getting into du right now but if I use info and du you see it actually opens up different file and at the top it actually opened up core utils info as you can see here and now it took me to a location in that file that describes du so I can actually page down in here so this is actually a totally different um, output than what man did so I just wanted you to be aware that there are differences um, using man versus info and that you may want to explore both of those options. So I'm just going to hit Q again to quit. Um, the last and final way that some programs will give you um, some help is if you just type in the command itself. And I'm going to actually use RPM for the example here. If I just type in RPM and hit enter, you'll see that it actually gives me all of the switches. While it's not real descriptive, um, if I'm just looking for a switch and I sort of know what I'm looking for, uh, sometimes you can just type in the uh, name of the program and then hit enter and it will give you all the switches. So that's another option that's out there. Um, so those are actually the four different ways you can usually find help for a command from the command line. Another thing I wanted to cover in this one briefly is yum. Uh, I'll show you the difference here. Uh, if I type in info and yum, excuse me, I could spell, it's going to take me to, uh, and yum, by the way, is yellow dog updater modified. So it's just a way for you to actually um, update software. Uh, I don't recommend you run yum update on a Zorcom Complete PBX only because you don't have any control when you do that of what you want to uh, update basically so it will 
it will try to go through and give you every package that there is to update so that's not always a smart decision um, typically if you're going to use yum it's suggested that you you uh, you differentiate what you want to uh, update and just update that so um, again I wanted to show you yum a little bit and that this is the info or actually the man pages for yum um, but don't uh, confuse info yum with yum info which I'm going to show you here in a second thank you to get out of this now if I type in yum info this is completely different and I'm actually going to turn on the more switch here because I don't want this to run uh, very long now usually you would do yum info and maybe the name of the package that you wanted to get more info on um, in this scenario I just type more so that I could actually stop the output so you're gonna see now that I'm actually going out to the internet I'm looking in the repositories out on the internet and the first one that it came to and, and luckily I had the more switch turned on because otherwise this output of this would have actually ran for several minutes until it went through every single package installed on the system so uh, by hitting uh, or using the more switch I actually stopped it at the first screen uh, and we're just gonna show you that it the yum info will show you the name of the package in this scenario it was the console kit um, and that it will also give you if I hit the uh, space bar also give you if there are updates uh, once it runs through all of these so this is a, a different kind of info um, that you can see which is based off of uh, the packages you have installed and it will actually show you uh, if there are updates to that package um, I always say if it's not broken don't fix it um, so you may not want to run yum uh, update on anything uh, unless you're seeing a problem with your system but I'm gonna hit control C to actually get out of that uh, that output there and actually I can show you um, yum info and I'm gonna actually uh, sh uh, show you a, a, a package that will show me an update so so what you see here is actually uh, libpry it's the PRI libraries um, it does have version 1412 1.4.12 installed um, there is an update available 1.4.13 but I wouldn't suggest again updating to the new package unless you're having a problem so again wanted to go through some of the differences between info uh, what yum info does which is totally different and also the ways that you can get help from the command line. That's all I have for this session. Thanks for watching.